Hey, what's good, everybody, man? Y'all was really hitting that like button for the next, for the next, for part two. And I really appreciate that. Y'all hit five likes in like the first couple of hours. So, so I got y'all on the part two, man. So I'm not even about to waste no time. I get right into it. So this is something else I also get asked about all the time on how to do it, which is, if y'all didn't know what it was called, it's called the momentum dribble. If you've never heard that before. And it's real simple to do, it's real easy, but it's requirements. You gotta have an 86 ball control or higher. So, if you're taller than like, if you're taller than 6'2", you have to put a boost on for your point guard. Only point guard can do it, by the way. See, I'm doing it right now. But like, the fastest one is crossover two. All the other ones are really slow for some reason. I don't know why. But basically, all you gotta do is, once you have the requirements done, just flick your right, your right stick, left or right, and then go that way. So if you want to go right, and the ball is in your left hand, flick it right. There you go. Left hand, same. Vice versa. But it's other ways to like combo it. You know, step back. All right, man. So yeah, step back like that. You can do a size up. Matter of fact, what's this controller doing? Just like that. There's another reason why I said the John Wall, uh, the John Wall crosses the best best one in the game because I pair that up with the momentum dribbles all the time and it works very well. It's just like the hop jumper. You can do you can do it after that one, or I can do it after that one, or you can do it after it's big snatch like that, and boom, straight to the cup just like that. And that's 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 basically it. It's not, it's, not, it's not that difficult for the momentum dribble, really. So the next thing is the hop jumpers, too. It's, but 2K17 about to come out, and it's still people who don't know how to do the hop jumper. I never knew that. I thought everybody knew how to do the hop jumper, just like, like it was the easiest thing. It's, like, it's really easy, y'all. It's not that hard. All you got to do is... Put, put on the carry or the normal three, the hop jumper, and then say the ball's in your, in your right hand and you wanna go left, you tap it. It's like that. It's, it's not that hard, y'all. It's really not. See, it's not that hard, y'all. Just just go to y'all my court and practice it. You don't have to have any type of like ball control to do it. And everybody can do the hop jumpers. Everybody can. But yeah, it's not that hard, you know. Boom, just like that. You'll get the hang of it once you once you you know practice it some more. But, but yeah, it's, it's just to keep practicing. Yeah, you'll have it. So the final thing I wanted to tell y'all for this for this part is nobody. So nobody really covers this often. It's the best part size ups. I do part size ups all the time. Look at that green. And I specifically use like two of them that I believe are the best ones that it gets you the best space. So I'm about to get right to showing y'all that right now. Actually, oh, I made a special player just for these, um, just for these dribble tutorials. Hold on, I gotta switch characters. Yeah, I'm back on my 6-7 that I use mostly all the time. And the best park size up, put, try out number six. Now, you don't want to do the, do the whole park size up, clearly. You want to do it after he goes between his legs and then cut it off by going left or right, depending on where the ball is in your hand. I wish I had some clips to show me, of me showing y'all what I mean, but I, it's, um, actually I got some of my, my mixtapes and stuff, so just check those out just to see if you want to see what I mean. Or you can just learn it for yourself. And, if you have any type of 2K knowledge, you'll know what I mean. And also another one that I use is 31. It actually does that little first move, you wanna go the opposite direction where the ball is. So if he does the move and the ball's in his left, you wanna go right. If the ball's in his right, you wanna go left. And yeah, those two are the best. 32 is very is good too, but I hate using it because you can't really see the ball and I, I end up going the wrong direction every time, so. 
I just stick to 31 and number six, but let's try to get this video to five likes again and I'll release part three. Five likes again and I will do a part three to this because it is more that I want to talk about. But everybody have a good day, man. And I'm out. Peace.